got to like you at one bar. I don't want to muck that up. I'm going to bed. I wouldn't interfere, honestly. That's how I feel. Well, what about Angela? It's up to her. So you're at it again, trying to make people do what you want. But I suppose the fact that it's the best thing for them has got nothing to do with it. I don't want to argue. Good night. Hey, Beryl, where's my lunch? I'll have it ready in a tick. No, don't worry about it, old boy. Son. You're not late, are you? Well, I will be if you don't get a move on. Get me a knife. Kevin and Lynn must still be arguing. Mm -hmm. Well, they've gone already and they haven't popped in to say goodbye. It's not like them. You don't reckon it's anything we did, do you? Can't think what. Come on, about time we found out. I'll have a go at Kev. You think you should? Well, the worst he can do is tell me to shove my head in. Just be careful what you say. You know how sensitive he is about us interfering now. He's a big married man. All I'll do is let him know that he can talk to me whenever he wants to. I should get him on his own. Well, I'm doing short hauls around town today, so I'll catch up to him after footy practice. Good idea. Kevin, you'll muck up your shoes. Who cares? You got footy practice this, Arvo? Yeah, I know. Do you want to wait more home with me? I think I'll go straight home. I just thought you wouldn't want to be there on your own. Why not? Well, because of what happened. It's only like that when you're there. You should say something instead of just being awful. They think we're having an argument, you know. Who cares? I can't help the way I feel. Well, you don't have to take it out on me all the time. I don't. What about last night? You just ignored me. How do you feel if you just found that out about your dad? Come on. I think I'll stay here for a while. You'll be late. I don't care. They should be here by now. Probably taking their time. There's no need to rush. Um, think I'll give the veranda a bit of a sweep. Fine. If I know her, she won't budge until I get here. I gather Wayne's quite a favourite. Always has been. You'll need all his charm to get around to this time. Rosie's determined that proprieties will be observed while Wayne and Jill are here. I wonder why I've been installed in the double room. Can't be used if it's full. Well, knowing Wayne, I doubt he'll put up with it. It's mad if he does. But why didn't you say something? Once Rosie's made up her mind about something, it sticks. If I'd laid down the law before Jill got here, she would have become the Scarlet Woman, full stop. <laughs> so it's separate rooms or trouble? Oh, Rosie can be stubborn, but you can get around her. Huh? Just takes tact. Wayne, tactful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's about time you got here. Oh, how are you, Rosie? All the better for seeing you. I missed you too. Been well looked after, though. Jill, come and say hello to Rosie. Oh, hi, Rosie. Be with you in a sec. No hurry. Oh, he's your dad. Thought the car must have broken down. No, just a bit late getting away. He had a hard time getting me to leave the hotel. How was it? Oh, fantastic. Our room is on the 20th floor. We could lie in bed and see right across the harbour. <laughs> she insisted on breakfast in bed every morning. Well, why not? You won't get breakfast in bed round here. I'm sure Jill doesn't expect it, Rosie. Of course not. Well, you'll be wanting tea. I'll see to it. What's up with her? How Rosie doesn't approve of soft living. Oh, give me something to carry. Don't look at me as if I were a helpless female, Gordon. Being stuck in a wheelchair is a great lurk sometimes. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> you can carry Plan C. 
What a name to give the poor little thing. We like it. Plan C doesn't even mean anything. Oh, your tea will be getting cold. I wanted to get the luggage put away. You, um, did put Jill's in the far room, didn't you, Mr. Hamilton? Yes, I did. Good. We're not sleeping in separate rooms. <laughs> you tell Rosie. You let her get away with murder. I thought you'd prefer to fight your own battles. I should have known how she'd react. Unmarried couples, it's all very shocking. <laughs> I really put my foot in it, didn't I? Talking about our room at the hotel. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with a bit of old-fashioned morality. You on her side? I respect her for sticking up for her beliefs, yes. Gordon oh, Hamilton. <laughs> yes, she is. It's for you, Prue. Uh, what now? Thank you. Yes, Prue, what is it? Looking forward to seeing around the place? Yes. Well, as soon as you feel up to it, I'll give you the ten cent tour. Who phoned? I'm ready any time you are. No, I'll, um, I'll ring back straight away. No, no, there's no need to come down. I'm fine. Yes, I'll ring you later. Everything all right? Roland. It's my husband. He's dead. My intern is in cardiac arrest. He's dying. Well, wash your mouth out with soap and water. Come on, it'll do you good. I've got too much on my mind to be bothered. Thank God I never had children. Well, you worry about yours far too much. I don't want to lose them. That's the thing they forget to tell you when you're having kids. They grow up and leave you. Fact of life. If I could just get John to change his mind, I'm sure Angela wouldn't go back to Melbourne. You start meddling, it'll end up losing the both of them. Charlie, do me a favour. No more advice, please. Just in time. Well, speak to your mother. She's being difficult. Charlie? Persuade her to come shopping with me. We can make it this afternoon, if you like. Shop first, then have drinks and dinner in the bay. Go on, it'd do you good. Some other time. I tried. You're becoming a real old stick in the mud. I'll bring up Jane and Tina if you're that desperate. I'm damned if I will. I'll pick you up at one o'clock. If you want to waste your time. She who gives up too easily never gets diamonds in a Christmas stocking. Where to now? I think we've seen the lot. Your mum did a great job, didn't she? Pity Dad wasn't big enough to give her any credit. Well, he might have said something if he'd taken us round. Yeah, sure. I know you think he's Mr. Perfect, but uh, I didn't tell you the whole story. He not only kicked her off the place, he didn't want her staying in the house in Sydney either. Oh, I can't believe it. Your dad's so nice. He must have had a good reason. Like what? How should I know? Ask him. Don't worry. I will. Seen everything? Yes. And what do you think? Mother's done a great job. Got a long way to go yet. But I think we can open sooner than expected. You can't give her any credit for anything, can you? I'm not prepared to discuss it. Yeah, I bet. There's no way you can justify what you did to her. I could, but I'm not going to. I had a very good reason for doing what I did. Sure. She wanted to take Wombai away from me. What do you know? I suppose it figures. She's really enjoying it down here. I suppose I overreacted, but you know how I feel about the place. Yeah. No wonder you came tearing down. She's instructed her solicitor to uh, withdraw the claim. We've worked out an alternative settlement. But you still can't handle the trying it on? Nope. What I did was worse than that. The mineral steel. He forgave me. That was different. Yeah, it was worse. I tried to rip you off. I did what I did for all the worst reasons. All Mother wanted was, was a future for herself. There's more to it. Such as? 
I've told you all I can. If you want to know more, you'll have to ask your mother. I'm having a good time, but I'm missing you all. Oh, we miss you too, love. Have you seen your father yet? No, he's down at Woomba. I've been in Sydney since I arrived. Are you going down there to visit him? Oh, I want to spend a few more days with Mother first. You won't believe it, but we've actually started to sort out a few of our problems. David will be pleased. I'm sure he will. Well, she's changed a lot since I've been away. Like, I never thought she would be, but she's really upset about the divorce. It's hard even getting her to budge from the house. <laughs> Funny, isn't it? I always thought Daddy'd be the one who'd be upset if they split. Just goes to show you, you never can tell. I'd better go. I've got something on the stove. Okay, give my love to everyone. I will. Bye, Beryl. Quite finished discussing me? It was only Beryl. I know who you were talking to. Oh, I didn't think you'd mind. Well, I do mind very much. Don't you dare bandy my private affairs around ever again. I don't know why you're so upset. Beryl's like one of the family. Not this family. From now on, you don't say one word about me to her. Is that understood? Not one word. Australian Prime Ministers can you list? Go nine. You better watch yourself down here. We don't want you getting hurt. I beg your pardon? Oh, I was talking to my cat. Oh, thought you were talking to me. She understands me, don't you, sweetie? She spent most of her time up until now in one little room. Oh, well, she'll be uh, much better off out here then. You don't think she'll get lost or run away or anything, do you? Of course not. She'll soon know she has to come here to find food. If she does go walk about, it won't be for long. Mm, I suppose you're right. I guess I'd better get a place sorted out for her to sleep soon. I'll get a basket and we'll fix it up for her out here. I'd rather she slept in our room, Rosie. You know I don't hold with animals in the house overnight. She'll sleep here. And while I'm around, the sleeping arrangements won't change. She put me in my place good and proper, didn't she? I thought you weren't going to say anything today. Oh, I couldn't resist having a dig. What's put you in such a good mood, anyway? I found out something very interesting. There's more to the Battle of Wombai than I thought. You're not dressed. Shopping, drinks, dinner. I meant what I said. I don't know why I bother about you. Then don't. You upset? I overheard Angela talking on the phone to Beryl, telling her how shattered I was about the divorce. Well, you know, of course, what she's going to think, that I'm mooning around over David. Oh, I snapped Angela's head off. I want to apologize to her, and I don't know where she is. Oh, how could I be so stupid? We were just getting on so beautifully, and now I've gone and blown it. Well, I'd say you had every right to. I wouldn't want my ex-lover's wife knowing I was pining away for him. I'm not pining away for him. Oh, what am I going to do? What you should have done ages ago. Get out and kick up your heels a bit. Well, if you keep sitting around here looking miserable, there's no way Dave and his wife aren't going to keep hearing about it. Thought I'd get out of your way for a while. I'm sorry. I didn't think. I could have made my point without screaming like a fishwife or being unpleasant about Beryl. Oh, you probably needed to let off steam. Yes, I think Charlie agrees with you. After I'd cried on her shoulder for a while, she gave me a good ear bashing. So now if you're talking to somebody, you don't have to say your poor old mum's <laughs> feeling sorry for herself. Well, at least some good's come out of it. Well, why don't you keep Charlie company while I go and get changed? We're going shopping. Have you seen Mr. Hamilton, Rosie? Oh, he's down at the stables, but he'll be back any tick of the clock. Oh, good. I'll wait outside. Oh, you'd better stay here. The veranda gets the afternoon sun. Well, won't I be in your way? Not a bit. I'll do your room for you, if you like. Thank you. No trouble. I was sorry to hear about your husband. I'll remember him in my prayers. You're very kind. Oh, Mr. Hamilton, Mrs. Armstrong wants you. She's in the living room. Thank you, Rosie. Mm. It's 
hot out there. Yes, sir, Rosie was saying. Can I get you a drink? No, I'm fine. Did you get through to Nevada? Yes, I spoke to the man who's chairing the conference. He was most helpful. He's, um... He's arranging to have... He's arranging to have the body flown back straight away. Have you made funeral arrangements yet? I managed to track down most of the kids. Well, they're scattered all over the world. I told them not to come back. There's no point disrupting their lives. They don't have to come back here to grieve for their father. Of course not. When are you going back to town? Well, um, I'd like to stay on until tomorrow, if you don't mind. As long as you like. Thank you. He was due back in three weeks' time, you know. We planned to take a cruiser up the Hawkesbury. Just the two of us. Nothing to do but fish, and sleep, and eat. I was always trying to get Roland to slow down, but he couldn't. Always had a dozen things on the go at once. I'm glad he didn't die in hospital. Hooked up to all those... all those monitors and things. He'd have hated that. It was better that he went suddenly. The greatest TV cast ever in a superb drama premiere with hardly any ads. Brothers and sisters. Okay, match practice. Right, right, right. Rusty, Rusty, Rusty! Okay, okay, come on, come on, that's it. That's it. Come on, that's it. I challenge you, lot. What do you think you ought to do, Mama? Playing football. Playing the man, not the ball. No more of this rough stuff for you. Out. Understand? I don't know what your problem is today, but don't take it out on the other players. Oh, come on, have a shower. What was that all about? Nothing much. <laughs> you want to lift that? I'll be a while. Oh, wait. I'd rather walk. Lynn! Sorry, I didn't know you were home. I did call. You must have heard me. I bought you some fresh tea. Thanks. I thought I would never get home. I just missed a tram. Oh, you'd better get started on my homework. Well, don't work too hard. You're looking a bit pale on it. I'm fine. I'll leave you to it then. Oh, I'd better start thinking about letting this out soon. Yes. You want to talk about it? No. Well, I'll get the dinner started. David's picking Kevin up. They should be home soon. Oh, what is it, love? It can't be that bad. Kevin knows about Mr. Palmer and John's mum. Stop backing the gate and get inside. Watch the flowers of your mother. Think these will make up for the way you've been treating her? I know all about it. You thought you could get away with it, didn't you? You thought you could come home and pretend nothing ever happened. What makes you think you can treat Mum like that and then buy her up with a lousy bunch of flowers? Kev, now Kev, let's... Buzz off! Or I'll flatten you. Love is very 
All new on 7 and 07, the Richless premieres tonight. Two strangers given the chance to win more money than on any other show in the world. You've never experienced anything like this. There are no limits when the Richless premieres tonight at 7.30. All new on 7 in 07. Next, laugh along with crumbs.